Okay, what's up, everybody? Um, so I got some suggestions and feedback and stuff like that, and one of them made a lot of sense to me, which was why am I doing a video at the beginning of the month, asking for feedback on it, and then not doing any more videos on it, and then making a new deck at the next at the beginning of the next month. So what I decided to do was basically, I'm not going to put a schedule on this. I'm basically going to say when I feel like recording matches of Constructed, uh, I'm going to do it and post them. At random times, keep your eyes open. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a couple more games with Phoenix with some changes. So I'm gonna go through them a little bit. Big ones. Uh, Syncopates are out for Dissolve. Um, I found Syncopate. I don't know. Maybe it was just in, in that particular match. I know I had a pretty small sample size, but I've been playing a little bit with the deck as well, and it's been doing. It's actually been doing quite well. Um, but yeah, we've we've taken out syncopates and we've put in dissolves. They're still syncopates in the sideboard because they're very good in very against very fast decks. But anything sort of more towards the mid range late game doesn't work so well. Okay, so those are gone. I've taken out two hover barriers. I found we had a few more creatures than we needed. Um, we need a bit more. We kind of needed a bit more stall and stuff like that. Um, oh, other big change. Main deck Drown and Sorrow is out for main deck Extinguish All Hope. And then those swap back and forth, but um, it was pointed out to me, and I agree, that Extinguish All Hope probably has more utility in the main deck. Um, we put in a couple of Pilfered plans, uh, because I was finding there wasn't enough card draw in the deck. Now, I don't know if that's going to be enough, but it's certainly going to help. Uh, did I change anything else? Um, oh, I changed the sideboard a little bit. Put some fun stuff in there. Uh, we put in a couple of Mind Grind, you know, just in case. And two Psychic Intrusion for the control matchup, because um, I take out a lot of the removal and bring in counters for the control matchup, but it's not quite even. So Psychic Intrusion, I don't know, it's a bit of fun. You know, you hit an Elspeth with it, you're super happy. You hit, you know, uh, Sphinx's Revelation, something like that. Um, it works really well. And it pulls things out of the graveyard, which means, like, because I'm milling, I can quite often have a lot more information about what I'm going to be getting than a lot of players. Uh, guilds are staying in because they're pretty sweet, but better in the sideboard, I think. And that's most of the changes to the deck. I don't think I missed anything. If I did, and you spot it, chat in the comments. Um, so we're going to take this into a queue. Uh, we're going to see what we can do with it. Uh, you know, get a bit more of a feel for the deck, see what happens. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to make you sit through waiting for the queue, so I'm going to pause the recording. Movie... Magic! Look at that. That was pretty good, wasn't it? We wanted to do that for a while. Okay. Um, now, I don't know if we can keep this hand. Uh, it's just a bit too slow. It's not really got a plan. If he's, you know, if he plays a, a curve of creatures, we lose. So I, I'm definitely going to mulligan this, actually, now I think about it. I was <laughs> When I saw it, I was like, oh, maybe I'll keep it. But no, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mulligan this away. That's better. That's much better. That's got answers, that's got defense. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to keep that. Start with a temple. Ooh, look at that. Look at that Zendikar Island. Okay. I know what we're dealing with. I know what we're dealing with. Can we beat that? Is the quest. Ooh. That's nice to have. That's nice to have. I'm going to start with a temple. Uh, island, do we want that? You know, I think we probably do. I'd like to hit Phoenix as early as possible. This is a very fast deck we're dealing with, and I don't know, maybe racing's the best plan. I know it's weird to think about racing with a middle deck, but I, you know, I think this might be the best option. Just try and hit Phoenix, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix as quickly as possible. Yeah, we're going to do that. Cloudfin Rapture is a very good card. Uh, so that's going to evolve. Tidebinder Mage doesn't have a target. It has no targets in our deck, which is quite nice. I used to play a red-green deck, and Tidebinder Mage was the bane of my existence. Um, yep, and oh, actually Master of Waves as well was a problem, because there's very few ways to remove him in red-green. Um, okay. So we're going to we're gonna just follow... I'm, I'm considering the Fire and Away, but it doesn't really do anything here, so I think I'm just going to play the Gilgate and pass. And he's going to beat me for probably four if he plays another two-power creature. Which is awkward, but then we're gonna drop a hover barrier for sure because I don't want that thing hitting me. Um, 
Yeah, this is going to be an issue, I'd imagine. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna start with a hover barrier. And hope we don't die. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I very nearly clicked on the wall of frost there, which would have been his disaster. He would have gotten me with the Night Veil Spectre, and he can cast a bunch of my spells. Right, we're going to block Night Veil, take another four. This is a little bit sketchy at this stage. Um, yeah, I thought that was coming. So it's probably going to happen this turn. Oh, that's awkward. As I was saying, what's probably going to happen this turn is Dimmer Guild Gate holding up far. And we're going to take our licks from the other... Oh, God, if we didn't have the far in hand. I'm ever so slightly tempted. Because I know that deck plays the odd dissolve. He's got two cards left in his hand. I'm tempted to cast far on the Master of Waves this turn while he's tapped out. I'm definitely going to play the Guild Gate. This turn while he's tapped out. Because <sighs> if he counters it, I just die. I do get some extra value from doing it during his combat step. Do I even? No. No, I don't. I'm just going to go ahead and, and do it now. And then pass the turn. Yeah, this is getting sketchy. Now he replays Master Waves, and we need to draw an answer, or, you know, we're dead. It's bizarre that in this format, one of the fastest decks is, you know, blue. <laughs> Mono blue. It's really surprising to me. So, Hero's Downfall off the top is what we're looking for, probably. It's not good enough. Not good enough. So he's got seven two ones. We just can't deal with that. We lose. Lose this game. Oh, I wish I'd left those Demir charms in the sideboard now, because that's awful. Drown in sorrow. Drown in sorrow. Hello, my friend. All right. Bye bye. Extinguish all hope. Drown in sorrow. In. Uh, dissolve. Hmm. Opportunity is going to come out for two syncopate. And I think that's going to be how we do this. Drown and Sorrow is going to be pretty good here. The only thing it doesn't hit is Night Veil vale Spectre, which is a little bit awkward. And I guess a beefed up Cloudfin Raptor. Man. Yeah. Bizarre format when the fastest deck is mono blue. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know if we stand up particularly well to this deck. Because it, like... This deck is supposed to do better against sort of aggressive decks. But this deck goes very wide, very fast. Master of Waves is just such a powerful card. So... It's very difficult to deal with that. When you're playing, you know, two walls and they've played eight creatures. Um, would I like to play first? You know I would. Thank you. Yeah, this sounds fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Hopefully going to get to counter that, uh, that Master of Waves. We're looking for a black source for King Makara. Probably don't want that second Consuming Aberration. What are we looking at? Oh, look, an island. Those are nice islands. I love those islands. Judge is familiar. The other one, one drop. Counters what? Ed? Instant or sorcery unless they pay one. That is awkward for counter spells. Alright. Island. Pass. Good card. Judge is familiar. And um, we're going to get smacked for one. I say smacked. We're going to get 
hit for one. Not too big a deal. And what are we looking at here? Tidebinder Mage. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and try and cast Syncopate. He's going to use Judge's Familiar. But then we've still gotten rid of a creature with one card. It's not the worst. It could, like, I can't imagine. Yeah, so here that is. I can't pay one. But it was the only time I was going to get to use Syncopate, to be honest. And now we can hold up the Zo Oh, that's awkward. Okay, what are the three drop gate creatures we're afraid of? No, here's what I'm going to do. I don't need to be super aggressive with my King Makar. I'm going to play the island, hold up Dissolve. Following turn, Temple of Deceit, still holding Dissolve. That's actually fine. I wish we'd drawn Swamp as opposed to that Temple, but, you know, you can't have it all. Yeah, we take two. Not a big deal. And here comes Night Veil, I'd imagine. Yeah, so that's going to get dissolved. We get a scry. That's quite nice. I'm okay with this. Phoenix is going to stay on top because we need a wind gun. Temple, hoping the scry to probably a land. Uh, perfect. Perfect. So I'm expecting Master of Waves here. If I don't see the Master, I'm probably not going to bother countering. Like, if it's just another Night Veil, I'm probably going to leave it alone. Um, cause I'm not super worried about it. Judge is familiar. I do not care. Frostburn weird. Do I care about that? Well, the thing is, now that I've let the Judge's Familiar resolve, he can counter my dissolve. So it's not worth doing that there. Okay, what's the play here? Probably King Makar. Yeah, consuming out isn't that good at the moment. Yeah, we're going to go with King Makar. We're going to block Tidebinder. We're going to see a Master of Waves now, and I'm going to cry. Because then it's just draw removal or die. Okay. Grant. All right. Here's a question. Do we block the Frostburn Weird? Do we block the Frostburn Weird? Does that, does that do anything? So he pumps it to a 2-3 and they bounce. He pumps it to a 3-2 and they trade. I can't decide if that's worth doing. I don't think it is. No, I'm not going to. Because if he wants to pump it, that's his turn. Okay. Really wasn't expecting him to pump it. Night Veil? That's a scary, scary. Don't like that. Not what I like to see. Alright, we're going to drop a land. And... Phoenix. Phoenix is going to get King Makara going. We can get rid of the Thassa like that. But this is super scary, guys. This is master ways we might just lose. Biden, jeez. Yep, yeah, can't do anything about either of those. He's going to draw two cards and we're going to take six. This is now super unpleasant. Forcing my creatures to attack actually is okay in this situation. I'm hoping getting Consuming Aberration down will stabilize this a little bit. We're gonna mill him. Okay. 
And then inspired, we exile Thassa. Oh, yes, I'd like to use the ability, please. Turn Thassa to gold, I'm okay with that. Alright. So we've got seven mana available to us. One option here is to drown in sorrow. I can play Consuming Aberration as a 5-5, but if I drown in sorrow I can leave up Dissolve for the inevitable Master of Waves. And that takes out these two. Leaves him with just one dude. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, it is. Even if he uses Judge's Familiar here, I still get to leave up Dissolve with the gold token. We get to scry. That probably goes on the bottom. And then we pass the turn. Faster, we're going to dissolve. Make sure we add green to the mana pool, it's very important part of this process. Hero's Downfall is going to go on top. Now he can pump that to a 3-2, which will trade, which I'm not okay with. So I'm going to take what's presumably going to be 3 damage, or just 1 damage, and he's going to draw his card. And then we're going to mill him and exile his Frostburn Weird. And I think we're in pretty good shape at this stage. I'm going to play our Consuming Aberration, which is big, and that's a clock. That's just a straight up answer this or you die clock. He makes our King Makar attack him, which is... Oh, if I had that stop there. Mm. that's That was really dumb of me. I should have tried to mill him. I just didn't have the stop. It just means he can't block. And also I didn't. I, got a, I lost a little bit of value on milling him. Which I'm unhappy about. I shouldn't have done that. That's really stupid. New Devolt's immune to King Makar, which is interesting. Here comes Cloudfin, and then probably Master of Waves. Frostburn Weird. Okay. We need to exile the Cloudfin. That becomes it. We've still got Hero's Downfall back, which is nice. I like having that. I'm not really worried here, even though we're on 6 life. Not really worried. Oh, that's probably why. Alright, I don't think I'm going to change anything. For this version, I really like how that played. We're just going to run it back. I think he missed a couple of land drops there, which really helped. Like, if he'd gotten going any faster, I don't know if we could have stopped him. You know, now I think about it, when I was talking about leaving up, when I did the Drown in Sorrow play, maybe Consuming Aberration was a better option. Because even if he got the Master, Wave, Master of Waves, then um, King Makar could have exiled it. I like this hand. I like this hand quite a bit. And he's gone to five, which I like to see. No one drop. Also like to see that. We're going to go for a temple. Scry to something useful, hopefully. Hover barrier. Um... I'm going to put that on the bottom. I'd rather see something more interesting, to be honest. We have a Harbor Barrier. If I didn't have a Harbor Barrier in hand, obviously I'd be keeping it, but because we do, I'm not going to bother. No 2-drop either. 
All right, I'm liking our chances here. Guildgate and pass. What you got? Let's see the three drop. Night Veil? Night Veil. And Hover Barrier is going to make you sad, buddy. I hope. <laughs> Another Psychic Strike. Nice to have. Nice to have. So we're going to go Island. Hover Barrier. And that's going to block the Night Veil Spectre. Pretty much forever. Mute Vault. Doesn't have haste. Second Night Veil Spectre. That's probably gonna gonna meet its downfall, as it were. Uh, no time to play King Makar right now. We need to leave up downfall. So we're just gonna pass. Awkward Drown and Sorrow in hand right now. Unfortunately. Cloudfin. We go to blocks. He passes priority and we downfall his Night Veil. The one we haven't blocked. Don't want him getting card advantage off of us. Tidebinder doesn't do a ton. Evolves the Cloud Fin, but again, doesn't do a ton. I think now is probably the time for a Drenazar, if ever there was one. Because anything else, any other creature is going to push that uh, Cloud Fin out of range. Mm, on the other hand, I might hold it for the Master of Waves. He's got one card in hand. It could very easily be Master of Waves. So maybe what I do here is play King Makar, which blocks Tidebinder Mage. Yeah, I quite like that. Because then if he plays Master of Waves, which is the big concern here, Drown in Sorrow makes it not an issue. Not too worried here. Okay. So he gets him for one with his cloud fin. Oh. Well, that's going to get blocked by King Makar. I can't think of a pump spell in this deck. He could rapid hybridization in response, but that's not going to change whether he rapid hybridizations, do you know what I mean? So I'm definitely going to block. I can't think of this going badly for me. Yeah. Okay, so that's not going to change how that happened, and I did get to prevent a bit of damage there. Sucks not having King Makar anymore, but you know. You live. Alright, I think we're just going to just gonna drown in sorrow. Get rid of two of his creatures. <sighs> Gonna put that on the bottom. Um, now I think about it, I definitely should have attacked first. <laughs> that was really stupid. I just gave away two points of damage. Oh well. Not really our win condition, but you always, you always should be trying to get Oh! Oh god, I just didn't even consider that as a possibility. Ah, oh, that was just the stupidest thing I've done in quite a long time. I'm not going to waste a card. I am really angry with myself about that. Just quite irritated. Domestication. Not really an issue. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, gonna cast far on the Night Veil. And now we're gonna pass. That was really stupid with the uh, with the Drown and Sorrow. Just terrible play. Wasn't paying attention. Mute Vault's animated. 
And I'm just going to take two here. We're going to Psychic Strike the Night Vale. Pass. Am I going to pass? I don't want to keep taking damage from the Immune Vault, but... Because what I can do is... I can Cyclonic Rift the Hover Barrier and play it. But then he just domestications it again. There's just... Oh no, he doesn't, because his domestication falls off. Um... I'm going to pass and do it on his end step if, it's a, if, I, if I want to. If I want to Psychic Strike, I can do that. Because I don't need the Hover Barrier, all it does is block me to Vault. I've been playing this game quite sloppily. Not super happy with the way I've been doing it. Take the two here, not a big deal. We're going to use another Psychic Strike on that. And end step, we're going to Rift. Hover Barrier. And play King Makar, I think. Last turn. Cool. I'm going to attack with King Makar. See if I can, you know, get the train going. Because no one wants to play things into a tapped King Makar, you know? And then I'm going to play. Am I going to bother with Wall of Frost or do I want to leave up more syncopate mana? I'm going to play the Wall of Frost because the Muta Vault's going to do some damage to me, which is just going to be annoying. And anything he plays can get either rifted or something. Syncopate's becoming more and more irrelevant. Jace. Okay. Is he going to try and mill me out with the Jace? That's interesting. Oh no, he's just using it to draw cards. Makes sense. Temple, see what we're scrying into. Heroes down, full be nice. Just pop off that chase. Pilfer plans, I'll keep on top. Um, mm. I'm going to attack the Jace, just because. I'm not trying to kill him with damage. I'm trying to draw a Phoenix. Okay, how much does Jace cost to play? Five. So even if I rift the Jace now, I can't syncopate. So I'm going to pass. There's an interesting interaction. Cyclonic Rift doesn't actually... Oh, of course, I'm so stupid. The Jace mills one, so I don't get the pilfered plans. That I can syncopate. How much mana do I need? He's got three, so I need to do it for everything, yeah. Don't want that happening. Okay, so that's going to get exiled. Okay, that could have gone worse. Uh, King Kerr, targets Wall of Frost, and I don't want that to happen, obviously. Don't need the mana that badly. Constructed for assholes. That's Dennis. <laughs> you hear that, guys? Constructed for assholes. You heard it here first. Um, 
Yeah, hover barrier is going to come down. And I'm going to attack the Jace again. But I, I can take my time here. He's not doing anything super scary. And if he does, King Makara gets rid of it. What's up? Uh, I'm playing against Mono Blue. It's game three. It's going well for me. This seems fine, yeah. I'm in a pretty good position. You can't play anything or you can just Makara it. Yeah. Like that. Like that. If he plays two things at once, you know, he, you know. But I can block a lot of things as well. You Makara that, right? Yep. <laughs> for sure. This isn't an issue at all. You just waiting for a Phoenix now? Yeah, pretty much. That's that's the win con. Pilfer plans, that's gonna help. Which is what we're gonna do. I want to draw the target player, puts the top two cards of his oh yeah, so I target him. <laughs> <laughs> right. The wording on that is weird. Wall of Frost and Far and Away. Alright, so King Makar is going to attack Jace, he's going to block with Cloudfin because he wants to keep that thing alive. It's not a big deal. Okay. Attack Jace. An interesting suggestion I got for the deck was mm -hmm. a Disciple of Deceit, the inspired Transmute card. To, to search out Phoenix. Extra copies of Phoenix? Yeah. But what are the five drops out there? Uh, consuming Aberration and I was considering putting in... Does Far and Away count? Uh, I actually have no idea how that works. I think it does. Because um, when you were like, if you no, no, the way the way it works with Fire and Away is, I think if I discard it, I can search a two or three drop. Oh, oh, because you discard. Oh, but I don't know. Like if you reveal them with Dark Confidant, you lose five lives. Do you? Yeah. There's the Master of Waves, but that's just gonna get King McCarthy. I don't know what he thinks is gonna happen here. He doesn't do anything. I also have Fire and Away in hand. It's just not a big deal. Well, far isn't the best because you can just replay it. Yeah, but this just isn't a problem. Makara he's just he's just getting desperate now. Oh, he played two Master of Waves. <laughs> All right. So far is going to help a lot here. Yeah, we are going to just go ahead and cast far on the first one he cast, and then King Makar the other one. He was waiting until he had two in hand. Okay, I'm going to pause the video for a second, guys. And we're back! Okay. So, nothing to do on end step. We're going to pass and kill his other threat. This is great. I like this situation. Now, I think what we're going to do here is use Rift to bounce the Cloud Fin and then kill the Jace, because that thing's just getting annoying, giving him card advantage. And then King Makar is going to kill Jace. Yeah, this works out fine. Alright, we are a little bit low on time at this stage. That's going to be the only concern. I'm glad this is game three. Another Mutavolt. I don't care about that. Cloud from Raptor, I don't care about that. King Makar is going to deal with that. Judge is familiar, also don't care about that. I don't care about any of this so far. We're actually going to kill the Judge's Familiar just because it's a little bit more annoying. Because it messes with our counter spells and stuff. Yes, I'd like to use the ability. Hero's Downfall, useful. Now we're just going to attack him. Let's see what happens. Eudavall becomes a creature. Double block. Triple block. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. That's a little bit first. I didn't even think of that. That's going to mess with us. That's going to mess things up a little bit. That was really stupid of me. Oh well. Gonna downfall the Mutavolt. Kill the other Mutavolt. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's awkward. Psychic strike for the Thassa. Master waves, can't stop that. Hmm. This has gotten interesting. Island doesn't do anything. That was really silly of me. Need to draw Phoenix pretty quick now. Should have should have just been patient. Swing with the team, no reason not to. So block. 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 Couple of those done on tap. Quite nice. Do you think he's just trying to waste my time now? It seems. There we go. No cards in hand. He's hardly going to counter this. Phoenix is coming down as a creature. Okay. Hard to. Hard to lose now. It's like Lana Crypt is the only thing I can think of that actually loses me the game here. Response, million. That gets rid of the devotion for Phoenix. I should have milled with Phoenix as well. Didn't realize, wasn't counting. That was really stupid. But I think we still win. We still, we definitely still win. Yeah, should have been paying attention there. I have been very sloppy this match. I'll try and clean up for the next one. And step, mill. On tap, mill you to death. Sweet. And we got it back. Alright guys, see you in the next one.